Hey everybody, it's Nicholas Rogers with a quick, honest 1,000 round review of my Blackout Defense Quantum Dual Taper Lock Technology Rifle. <laughs> Granted, this is only the version 1.0 and Blackout Defense is releasing the 2.0 here soon. And it sucks because I thought I had my dream rifle in front of me. But after all the technological advances they're putting into 2.0, I might have to trade this bad boy in for one of the new ones. Let's jump right into this. All right, so this rifle has seen over a thousand rounds from multiple different types of ammunition and in this 223 Wildy barrel with the one and eight twist. And I have had a nitride barrel as well as the current barrel, which is a um, cryo treated barrel. And I'm getting 0.7 MOA groups with the right ammunition at 100 yards. Fantastic considering this is a 13.9 inch barrel rifle. The rifle itself, over a thousand rounds. I have had zero malfunctions, zero failure to feeds, zero failure to ejects zero failure to fires. Literally, I have fed this rifle everything from really high-end mead ammunition that's 77 grain all the way down to low-end Russian cheap crap that's steel casing with nickel coating. Um, shot that today. I've shot this with and without a suppressor and I have had zero issues. This is a fantastic rifle. The price is a little high, a little over $2,000, but considering what you get with this rifle for that cost, it's actually a bargain. This is going to put you into a premium rifle grade of firearm for a very mid to mid high cost, if that makes sense. Go ahead and check out the trigger pull weight. With an average after three pulls of four pounds, 3.6 ounces. Fantastic battle trigger. Now this is the version 1.0, which means that I get this triangular cut in the bottom of the magwell. On the 2.0, you were going to get a fully ambidextrous lower and the magazine well is going to be flat across the bottom. It's going to be a squared off bottom and it's gonna be flared to make loading easier and faster than this V cut. I haven't had any issues with this V cut. Additionally, one of the best features about the new rifle that's gonna be coming out soon is this Quantum Dual Taper Lock version 2.0, which means with my version 1.0, this rifle can only accept proprietary barrels from Blackout Defense that fit the Dual Taper Lock technology barrel nut system. But with the Dual Taper Lock 2.0, you can still use proprietary barrels from Blackout Defense, but you can also flip the barrel nut around and mount it to the upper receiver and use a mil spec barrel that is not from Blackout Defense. So that's pretty awesome. That was one of my only complaints about this rifle was if the shit hit the fan and the world went to total chaos, even though this was part of my, you know, SHTF, bug out gear, it would suck after let's say three, four years when my barrel wore out because I wouldn't be able to replace it unless it was a blackout defense barrel. But the owner, Tom, listened to shooters that purchased his weapon and he decided to create something that would allow you to use blackout defense barrels and also mil spec barrels. So this rifle would be able to last me as long as I could keep finding barrels if I had the version 2.0. That's why I'm thinking about trading up. Anyways, this thing is a fantastic shooter. Hope you enjoy some of the footage. It's worth the money. If you want to see some of my 
actual accuracy tests with this rifle, I will post my shit hit the fan video in the description below where you can see me shoot a 0.7 MOA group with this exact setup, the way that it is configured. Complaints that people have had about this rifle is the fact that there is no forward assist. And you're probably sitting there like, oh, I wouldn't buy that rifle, it doesn't have a forward assist. First off, I've put over a thousand rounds to this rifle and I have never once needed a forward assist. However, the people at Blackout Defense just received a federal contract to make ARs for a federal agency. And in that contract, it said that they must have a forward assist on the upper. And the owner of Blackout Defense said, that's fine. If we're going to make these for you, then we are also going to make them for the public. So here in the near future, in the next couple of months, you will be able to buy a non-forward assist upper and a forward assist upper, <laughs> vice versa. So uh, keep your eyes out. If that's what you're looking for, go ahead and grab one when it comes out. They'll be out here probably in about two, three, four months. But for me, I have not needed a forward assist one time. I've paid for this rifle myself and all the accessories and furniture that you see. I am an affiliate of Blackout Defense only because I believe in their product. I became an affiliate after I purchased their rifles and had some issues because I caused the issue and they fixed it with their amazing customer service and then they offered me to become an affiliate of their company. Meaning, if you go into the description of this video, there are going to be three major coupon codes you can use from the Big Timber Lodge to get you major discounts off of stuff like the trigger or accessories or an upper or a full rifle assembly in itself. Highly recommend that you look down in the video description, click on the link to their website, and then also use some of the promo codes they gave the Big Timber Lodge for you to use to save money. I hope this video helps persuade you if you're in the market for an AR-15 or a semi-automatic rifle platform to take a look at Blackout Defense.